I'm starting meditation teacher training today. <laughs> I can't believe that the day is finally here. I have been waiting since January for this moment. For the past year, I've known that I want to step into that seat of a teacher uh, and be a meditation teacher. I just, I like, it just feels insane that the day is finally here. I feel like how I felt as a little kid when it's the first day of school and you just want to make sure you have the perfect fit and you have all your pencils and your, your fresh notebooks and like trapper keepers. And I just feel like so giddy and excited and definitely a part of me is absolutely terrified and I'm scared because my mind wants to think that I can predict what I'm getting myself into but the experience is gonna be what it is and it's it's already written and I just have to show up and I'm trying really hard not to get too attached to the outcome or having preconceived notions about like how things are gonna play out and what it's gonna feel like because I've heard so many incredible things from people who have done this training but I just want the goal is just to show up every single time every single day that I have training which is on Friday evenings all day Saturday and all day Sunday so as long as I show up and I'm present and I want to bring joy into the experience. I've done a lot of intensive trainings in the past where I take it so seriously and it feels so intense and I lose that like childlike wonder and that joy and that playfulness that is so inherent in who I am as a human being. And so I just want to bring that playful side, bring humor, bring levity to this experience because that's truly how I learn best and just come to the table with those feelings and not make it feel too heavy. Um, the last couple of weeks have been really intense with like family stuff. I've been dealing with a lot of stress for my parents and um, allowing a lot of boundaries to be broken over and over and over again and and affecting my state of peace and affecting my stress levels and so this time feels so critical and so important to me to protect because it's 10 weeks and I feel like it's been a long time since I've really done something for myself that I'm this excited about and so I just feel so privileged that I get to block out these 10 weeks to learn and to be part of this community. <laughs> yeah, so I'm so excited and I want to document this journey for anyone who is curious about how to become a meditation teacher. The truth is you don't need to have a tech traditional technical training. You can be a meditation like a meditation teacher, but for me, it was so important to um, find a community that I trust and to learn from masters. And I took a uh, basics training in January and it was only a four week training on the weekends and uh, really adored the experience. And it was really challenging, but it was so rewarding. So it just, solidified to me that I want to do this and want to step into this training. But I just want to remind you that this doesn't have to be your exact path. If you want to be a teacher, you will find your own way and find your own path. I just want to share and be vulnerable and authentic about um, the journey that I'm taking and it means the world to me. That you're watching and that you're coming along for the ride. Yeah. It's day one of meditation teacher training and I want to just do a few things today to help set myself up for success and just 
make sure that I'm physically and mentally in a good headspace to step into the training tonight. So let's do some of that together. Thank you.